What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups and in this video we are talking about nonetheless Tony Hawk's Pro Skater on the Game Boy Color. So if you like games, consoles, or product reviews, please consider subscribing and make sure you hit that bell notification. With that being said, let's hop into it. Okay, so to be totally honest with you, whenever I thought about Tony Hawk on the Game Boy Color, I did not think it was actually going to be a fun game. I thought it was just going to be one of those games that has that name recognition, Tony Hawk, and it's on the Game Boy, and you're just going to take it, put it in there, and be severely disappointed. And honestly, when I first played that a long time ago, I thought exactly that. Now, the more I played it and the more I dig into it for this video, I actually ended up having a lot of fun. Now, I wasn't going to make this video, but I spent some time just playing it and I was like, I'm enjoying this. I might as well make a video for you guys. That way you guys can enjoy it too. Now, I will state this is a very simple game. However, you can have hours and hours of fun with it if you want to randomly take your Game Boy and play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and go on the go. Now, I will say that I have 720 on the Game Boy as well, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is better than that. Now, I haven't dug into the second game just quite yet, but I will, and I will tell you guys what I think about it eventually when I get there. But at this point, I think this is a fun game. There are three different modes. There is like a half pipe mode, a tournament mode, and a one versus the computer mode. And all of them are cool in their own ways. And we'll talk about that a little bit. We'll break it down by each mode and kind of what I think about it. But I want to say one thing. It does have a bunch of characters from the Tony Hawk series. So if you like a bunch of those characters, whether it's Bob Burnquist, Bucky Lassick, Tony Hawk, those are definitely in this game and you will definitely enjoy playing them. Now, let's talk about the modes. Now, the first mode is very, very simple, and that is half pipe mode. So you basically are a skateboarder and you're on the half pipe for a minute. Now, you get points based on what tricks you do, and basically that's kind of the gist of it. You're just kind of doing it to get points and kind of having fun seeing how many combos you can lay together in the air and then come back down and land perfectly. Or if you miss that, you'll just come tumbling to the ground and have to start back at the top of the half pipe, work your way down, get enough momentum going back and forth, and then be able to do those tricks again. Now these are some cool tricks. Now if you played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater on the Nintendo 64, on the game, not the GameCube, on the the not the switch man i'm trying to say all the wrong things if you played it on the nintendo 64 the playstation whatever you played it on the dreamcast whatever you want to play it on you probably got some cool tricks you did some ollies you did some indies you did some fakies you did some japans you did all kinds of stuff like that you could do this on this mode for the most part some of those you can't do but some of them you can and it's fun to be up in the air and twisting around and flipping and getting grabbing your board and all that that's a lot of fun and that makes this kind of simple as a game uh, mode is you're just going up and down and back and forth and going up hitting those tricks trying to land it smoothly so you can get enough air to go to the next one and get points and just rack up points now I personally like to play and try to get over a thousand points each time I do it. Now usually I can do that, but if I mess up and fall, it happens to be where I don't. So you definitely have to make sure that you time those landings, you time those jumps and everything in order to get enough points in order to not fall and waste time. Now moving on to the second mode, and the second mode is a top-down view, and I really like this one, and it kind of reminds me of 720, but I think a little bit better, because you can grind, you can go off uh, uh, rails to grind, you can go off benches and stuff like that, logs on the ground, whatever it is, 
You can also go off the ramps and do tricks like I hit an indie or a fakie stall and those things are cool because it like notifies you it like slows down and shows you hey you just did an indie or you did a stale or whatever you did it's awesome and it looks really cool now this is hard as well because if you get grinding and you're just grinding down the rails things will come in your way like trucks or cars or like barrels or crates you hit those you fall off you lose all your momentum and you slow down now the premise of this one is the first to the finish line now there's a goal at the end of the race and you're trying to race three other uh, skaters and you're trying to make it to the end first now you can collect what seems to be like money you can collect what seems to be like videotapes like hidden tapes if you ever played Tony Hawk's pro skater you know what that's talking about or you can just do tricks and get as many points that way as you can so there's kind of a multi-faceted uh, type of game to win the tournament. Now, if you watch, I am not good at the tournament. I played as hard as I could, and I always ended up third or fourth, and I just couldn't figure it out. But I still was having a lot of fun, so I'm not complaining too much. Now, the tournament was like five different maps, and they were cool maps. You got some harbor, you got downtown, there was... Uh, like a city street it was just kind of stuff like that that was very cool and it kind of gave you that little bit different uh feel of the game and the race itself so that i really really liked and last but not like la la sorry about that last but not least is first to win which is basically the same thing except it's 1v1 and that is you versus the computer you can see where they're at you can try to beat them, you can use your boost to get ahead of them, and all that cool stuff. And that, I think, is a fun one. If you're kind of wanting to get prepared for the tournament, you'd go and practice that a bit, race them and beat them, and once you got that beat, you can move to the tournament. But sadly, I'm not good at either one, so the half pipe is the thing that I enjoyed the most because I could have fun, but still get points and at least battle myself at that point and try to get more points. Now, I did have fun playing the other, the tournament mode, which you can actually save, which is a cool thing. You can save the password, and I'm very glad about that. And then the 1v1, which is a fun thing in itself. With all that being said, I think this is an awesome game. Like, I played this for at least two hours, uh, either today or yesterday, and I've been having a ball with it. It has been a very big blast. Now, that is a very, very cheap game. I'm talking under $5. So if you can't afford a, to buy a $60 game, pick up a Game Boy Color or a Game Boy SP or something, uh, uh, something like that and play this in it and you will have a ton of fun. Now, it's a cheap game, but you can get your money's worth out of it. So, I think it's definitely a game to pick up. Now, I will link down below the game on Amazon and a Game Boy on Amazon. If you guys are interested, down in the description, there will be that link. But, I think this is a game you gotta pick up. It's a fun time waster. If you like skateboarding and you like 720, this is a really good one. It's something that, honestly, I thought wasn't gonna be a fun one. But once I got my hands on it, once I got down and playing it, I ended up very much enjoying it. And honestly, I played way too much of it, and I probably should have spent less time playing it when I was videoing. Because I got like 45 minutes of clips to just video and talk about this. So I wanted to kind of branch out a little bit and do a little bit more clips. And hopefully you guys see that in the B-roll and stuff like that. Playing it was very hard as well because of the, the screen is glossy, so if I moved it, there was a glare, and I, I'm i sorry if you do see that a little bit, you probably will. It happens um, with the lights and everything to make sure it looks good, so I just want to give you a heads up. You can see it. Look at this. Check this out. It's ridiculously hard with that screen. So. I had some fun with that and I tried to make it as easy for you guys to see. Now I could have gotten an emulator and shown that on screen, but I think the handheld is just a great thing. The Game Boy Color uh, fits well in your hand and it's relatively small. I actually put this in my back pocket and took it to work and talked to my boss about it a little bit and kind of showed him off what I was talking about when I was talking about the game. So I definitely think this is a game you should pick up. if you like games and especially if you like handheld games which 
I'm a huge fan of handheld games. I got some cool stuff coming up that I want to show you in more videos and ideas, but we're not talking about that yet. I got some 3D handheld stuff coming up and some Switch stuff and probably more Game Boy stuff. So make sure you comment down below and let me know. This is a Friday night video. I wanted to throw this up because I was playing it and having fun and I figured might as well let you guys know what I was playing. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching and make sure you have a good day.